uh, hi everyone so i was just writing these entities and defining the relationship and now let's do it together okay so i have created these different entities like user address user will have multiple address so there is a one to many relationship with the address restaurant can also have multiple address then the restaurant will have a menu so every menu will have a restaurant id with it and now you you have selected the items from a particular restaurant and you are putting them into the cart you are already logged in user right let's say we are designing the system where you have to log in first okay so we will maintain the cart which is a temporary because cart will become a order in the meantime so we will have the the menu id menu id will point to the the foreign key in the the menu table that is our menu table yes so here we will define menu.id okay user id will be a relationship with the user id because this user is putting these items in the cart and there is a restaurant id because this item i have picked up from this restaurant okay so this is the cart id now whenever you log out and log in again you will see this is the current cart until unless this is empty and once you put the order once you click on to the checkout and do the payment then this cart will become the order order right so let's remove this order to the order status to order and here this menu list will be your cart id okay here we will have the relationship with the cart because in cart you might have selected the the five food items okay and now you are actually making the order for it order status restaurant id you don't need to maintain the, the order i'm putting so the user id is required there so this is my order order is having relationship with the order id and also the user id because i am the one who is putting this order okay we may end up normalizing these tables further so this is my order so once you click on order and you are done with the payment now payment will be done against order id right so we'll have the relationship further with this the order id we'll have a relationship with the order table and payment status this is fine so order id order already has the user id and the other res respective information like uh, what is the cart id cart id gives you the the list of items which you are putting which you already have in the order and now you are just putting doing the payment order status is like uh, delivered pending or these different status we will have as a enum let's put it as a enum and then the payment payment will be done against particular order right so order id and the payment status so here this will also be enum once the payment is done then we will start the processing for the delivering right then we will raising the notification and all the notifications will go against one particular order right so notifications of order id and to whom we are sending this right so it can be a uh, the user restaurant is also restaurant owner who is logged in is also an a user right so we'll define the relationship that whom you are sending this notification for which particular order you are sending this notification so the restaurant will also see okay this is the order that has been uh, done by the user now i will accept it start processing it and once the notification is raised what restaurant owner will do is it's not restaurant owner the our system will actually send a notification to the uh, nearby delivery guy to do the pickup and the delivery of this right so there will be a notification notification is already being raised against a user id and particular order so there will be another notification for the swiggy delivery guy okay this is the order and this order id will have the information okay this order is for this restaurant so the the delivery guy will reach there and this is like a message or comment or description or something like that some information which will tell us what action need to be taken and these notifications can target to the end user who has put an order like your order has been accepted now delivery guy has uh, reached to a uh, reached to a restaurant all these kind of notifications right and once the payment is done the bill will also be generated 
right so this is a payment bill id bill doesn't need to be associated with the order so this is an independent bill and you can finally when you are actually uh, sending this order with the delivery guy then you can have the bill id which will be sent right so this is the delivery so delivery will be associated let's say where is the delivery entity okay yes delivery guy id so this is nothing but a user id because who is delivering this there would be a delivery guy assigned to this and what is the order id so what is the order id which a delivery guy is delivering and this is the address so we will have address id for this to which address you are delivering okay and the user to whom you are delivering you don't need to do no no more information on this but yeah your delivery is like a central entity and it's delivery guy whom i'm sending this order what is the user address what is the bill id yes that is also important so it is going to have a lot of relationship right so maybe you might be thinking what we have created lot of tables lot of relationships and all but yeah down the line when we bring down these to the type orm entities yes a lot of things will automatically get simplified and we might see uh, less relationships right but yeah a lot of uh, you can see a lot of things has been done here we will try to simplify this but this is like let's say this is the the version one of our entity relationships okay now we will keep a uh, streamline this and we'll simplify it further but this is like a minimal setup minimal entities you will have the user menu restaurant okay the the set of addresses which because user can add a multiple addresses the delivery the bill payment order status notifications and the card right and the card will indirectly become the history once you've done the order then it will actually go into your previous orders where you can see the history okay uh, in the past you have done this order this is the order id and this is also the cart id for this in the cart id i ordered okay one dosa one oath pump and all these items okay uh, thanks everyone so now i will actually start doing the baseline of my services thanks